Hi everyone, my name is Odette. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Odette. Today I'm going to be cooking Aero as it is called in Cameroon and Okaze in Nigeria and it have names in other African countries. So here I have olive oil, palm oil. The reason why I'm using olive oil is because I'm cutting back on the palm oil. I have my stockfish is boiled already. My water leaf, there can be no good arrow without water leaf. This is from our garden, that's why it's so fresh. I have about two cup of crayfish, six habanero pepper, billion cubes, salt, our beef, and cow skin. This is a delicacy. It's so special. The cow skin, I can't tell you where I got them. This is arrow. The reason why I soak the arrow is because I want it to be green and fresh. So I'll go ahead and put my beef in the pot. Everything is palm oil. Okay, just go ahead and do that. You can either do this way, or if the beef is not cooked properly, you let it cook. If it's cooked properly, you can just go ahead and mix everything and just add your beef as you go along. So I'm just going ahead and chop my water leaf. There is there, this one is small. I already have um, water leaf that was stored in the freezer. So I'll go ahead and put this one first, and then add the freezer one. This makes the cooking so easy. Apart. You always have to cook your water leaf until it's wetter. When you know water is dry, they'll go ahead and add that air. I am the people in the southwest region of Cameroon. I'll go ahead and add my crushed pepper. That's habanero pepper. But if you don't like pepper, you can always let there be an option. I have my salt and billion cube. Go in and just give it a stir. See the water leaf is um getting dry, so soon we're going to put our air or okaze leaf. We always like to cook our arrow in a large quantity because it's our delicacy. Put lots and lots of crayfish because it gives a good aroma to the arrow. To stir properly and then add my palm oil and olive oil. The olive oil enhances the palm oil to make the oil look so nice and shiny. My palm oil goes in. I know there was like that's a lot of palm oil, but that's okay. Your oil will have to have palm oil, and besides, it's not bad. It's not refined palm oil. This is right from Cameroon. Give it a quick stir. What I like about arrow is that it's very high in fiber, just like other vegetables, but this one is the best. If you have problem with constipation, this is the best vegetable to eat to help solve that problem. I know it's like a party going on tonight. Why? Why? is everyone's favorite vegetable. Mm -hmm. This is very optional. You can just go ahead and cook it with your palm oil, but we always like to do a little mixture. Or it's healthy. That's extra virgin olive oil. Yoka, as it is called in the Asian or African market, but we call it watafufu or cassava fufu. This is like um a pasty kind of fufu. I'm going to be stirring it until it's fine to avoid the lumps. So you can never enjoy it raw without watafufu. Our ale is done. I just go ahead and give it a good stir. Wow, look at that. The beef, the cow skin, the fish, 
everything just blends together look at that deliciousness wow see the palm oil and the olive oil makes the ale to be nice and green even though the ale was dry but it looks so fresh because it was soaked the water fufu we made is from scratch it's from one of our in-law but you can get it from hispanic asian or african market when you go check the yogurt the freezer side say yogurt so i'll go ahead and dig into our wonderful fufu and ale it's celebrating already mm. wow it's delicious. The scientific name of Eho is Nemtum Africanum. I know a lot of people are wondering like what's Eho or Okaze as it's called in Nigeria. But that's the scientific name. I know people will be wondering about my hair. It's because I lost my mom. The last month has not been easy for me. But um, by the grace of God, I'm moving forward. That's why my hair is cut. So thank you for watching my video.